There's a lot of parallels that you have with Sheriff Ray Owens. You're an elected official. You also used to be kind of a big shot in Los Angeles. When you re when you read the script, Still is. did you? <laughs> you are. When you read the script, did you see some of those similarities, and what did you think of them? No, I actually um, paid more attention to this script because it was Lorenzo Benaventura, that the producer, who is an old friend of mine and who I respect, whose work I respect. Uh, so when he brought me the script, he's the one also that many years ago brought me the script of Eraser and then of Batman and Robin and so on. So I wanted to work with him again. And uh, number two, I felt that it was, as he said, a great action movie that has tremendous chase scenes and great uh, uh, big blow-ups and fight scenes and stunts and everything. And at the same time, a great story line with great uh, emotional ups and downs. And then what I liked was that he had the comic relief also. Mm -hmm. And when he mentioned that Johnny Knoxville is one of the guys that he's thinking about, I was very excited about that. So it was the combination of things that I felt like, this is what the fans would like to see. Uh, this is a traditional Schwarzenegger movie uh, with some differences. And then also that it, it had a, a, the character that I played was someone that was at that age where he's about to retire. So it was not like kind of beating around the bush and, 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 and pretending like I'm a 30-year-old action uh, uh, hero, but it acknowledges the age. Mm -hmm. And I even make joke, yeah. uh, a, a, a joke about the age. So I th it's like Clint Eastwood did in, 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 in uh, The Line of Fire when he ran next to the, uh, the president's uh, limo mm -hmm. to protect him. And he all of a sudden ran out of breath, kind of like, and was huffing and puffing. And he said, I think I'm too old for this. It's that kind of a thing. It's like acknowledging your age. And I think that that really works well and people enjoy that and they get a big laugh out of it. Yeah, now speaking of age, um, as you've gotten older, do you think you have a different approach towards doing your own stunts? No, I, I mean, I was probably too old to do stunts when I started and I'm not that coordinated. So it just for, for my type of thing, it plays into it. Um, so, yeah, no. And, and in the movie, his character, you know, was dealing with his age, but on the set, he goes at it twice as hard as everyone else. Mm -hmm. I can't keep up with him, so uh, he's an inspiration. Now, I know you suffered a minor head injury on set. What would you guys... Minor? is a my, huge gash on his head. It's healed quite well, I see. Yes. Now, what would you guys say has been the worst injury you've received on set? On this movie or any movie? Just any movie in general. Oh God, I broke my penis once, but I don't want to get into that on trying to do a backflip a motorcycle. But uh, it's healed now, everything's fine, but it was scary for a little bit. Arnold, did I you I tore suffer? my shoulder, I yeah. had knee injuries, hip injuries, uh, uh, back injuries. I have every injury that you can think of uh, because of stunts. Mm -hmm. And, um, uh, but you know, it's, it's, you know, you try to protect yourself, but uh, sometimes mistakes are made and uh, sometimes Injuries happen. If you don't want to have an injury, don't do this. <laughs> don't do action movies. Just do something else. Be a stamp collector. You know, that's, that's a little safer. Yeah.